was Thabo's return necessary? And what I mean by this is that did Thabo need to come back from the dead? Did that need to happen for One Piece to continue? So, when Thabo first returned, a lot of people were saying he was Ace 2.0. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. After seeing Dressrosa through to the end, do you think Thabo is Ace 2.0? I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on that. But no, but seriously, um, Thabo is kind of Ace 2.0. Think about it. He was introduced in Dressrosa, which is just the New World version of Alabasta in some regards. But he was introduced in the New World version of Alabasta, Dressrosa, because it parallels Alabasta. You gotta get the point. But he was introduced in Dressrosa, he is the protective older brother that is stronger than Luffy, that protects Luffy against people he cannot yet to defeat. Now, I do think Luffy could defeat Burgess if he was at full power, but obviously when Burgess was going after Luffy, he took no chance. If Jesus Burgess had attacked Luffy at that moment, Luffy would have died. We know that for sure. But Sabo fought Fujitora when Luffy was trying to get to Dolphamingo, and he also fought Burgess when Luffy was fighting Dolphamingo, but he was out of commission. From uh, He was out of commission because there were, when that fight took place at least round two, that was while Luffy was out without cold from uh, using his gear four the first time. During that ten minute period, that's when that fight took place. So yeah, I mean, when I look at Sabo, I really wonder, was his introduction necessary? The point of this video is I'm going to try to come to a conclusion, and I'm thinking about it as I'm recording it. This is off the hook. But I'm thinking about it, I don't think it was. Because honestly, Fujitora, that was like, what was his role on Dress Rosa? Like, really, like, it was almost as if Fujitora was introduced to give us the Maestro Sabo to fight. Uh, it was really like all of those, those two characters were both kind of introduced for the same reason. He wanted to show off a new Admiral and he wanted to show off that Sabo was still alive. And then he gave Sabo Ace of Delafruit. I had no problem with Sabo. I love Sabo. I love Sabo Delafruit. I love Sabo Powered. I love everything about him. But, you can't deny, he played the same role as Ace, and he had the same powers as Ace. He is kind of Ace 2.0, and at times, it kind of like, did he need to come back? Did Sabo need to come back? Um, honestly, I don't think he did. I really don't. I don't think it would have hurt the story if he would have stayed dead. In fact, I personally think, you know what, I think he didn't need to come back. I think it would have been better for the story if he had stayed dead and maybe Admiral be a challenge Luffy and his crew need to overcome. They're not ready for it, but that, uh, overcoming that obstacle would have been part of the journey. Instead, Luffy just goes and fights Dolphamingo while his big brother handles it for him. Also, Sabo being alive takes away from the sadness, from how sad Luffy's flashback is. If you remember, prior to it, Luffy Sabo and Ace's flashback, a lot of people say Luffy had the weakest backstory. Because someone important to him lost his arm and he got a straw hat and he got inspired to become the King of the Pirates. There's Luffy's entire backstory, pr entire backstory before the flashback with Ace and Sabo. That would be, that was it. That was all that there was to it. But after Sabo died, it added, it added this new layer to it. Luffy had, had this brother that he loved, that he lost. But now, now that Sabo come back, it doesn't take away from it. It still makes it really sad. I mean, Luffy and Ace thought he was dead. And it's still, the thing when Ace promises Luffy, I will never die, I'll never leave you. It's still a great thing. But it does take away from the meaning of it when you know Sabo the lie. Like, when I go rewatch those scenes, I'm more, I feel more sadness because I know Ace is going to break his promise than I do feel, I, I don't really feel sad about Sabo dying. I feel sad because I know Ace is going to die. But I don't feel sad about Sabo because I know Sabo is going to come back. And yeah, so I think actually if Sabo had stayed dead, I feel like it would have helped the story a lot and I don't think it was a ne necessary need, necessarily needed. I kind of just feel like Oda just did it because it was really... One, he did it because Sabo's awesome, let's be honest. He did it because he wanted to have somebody like Sabo, and he wanted Ace's will to be carried on through Sabo. But tell me your, your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Was Sabo's return necessary? Was it needed for the story? And did you guys think he's Ace 2.0? Well, tell me your thoughts in the comment. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this. Like the video if you enjoyed, and above all else, guys, have a great day. It's the One Piece Nation, signing out.